all simple questions that could have been answered if I didn't have to do AI and recording messages. Thanks a lot for your business, whoever don't want to answer the phone. I can't believe these motherfuckers with they, they credit cards and they bank and they motherfucking insurance. Nobody answers a fucking phone. A goddamn computer does. You cannot get a person unless you spend 20 minutes talking to a fucking computer. In America, niggas. But they'll take your fucking money, won't they? Them computers like your motherfucking money, niggas. Fuck these motherfuckers. I just can't believe this shit, man. I'm telling you, man. I can't even turn a fucking channel from CBS to NBC because of this shit. <laughs> I need a fucking password to turn a channel on my TV and this motherfucking computer does not remember my passwords. Every fucking one of these computers does not know the password I gave the nigga. Grandma. What's up? I'm having a horrible morning. Huh? I'm having a horrible last 10 minutes. You've been what? I'm having a terrible last 10 minutes. Why? Because my dog on November 29th is supposed to go get neutered at the goddamn fucking animal society. So I had to spend 10 minutes Googling their phone number. And then when I called their phone number, I had to spend another 7 minutes talking to a computer. Didn't get nobody. Had to leave a fucking message. And guess what I just wanted? How do I bring him in? In a cage? In a leash? Do I gotta bathe the motherfucker? But no. 15 minutes of my life for a 2 minute question and I got no person. Uh, well, maybe they are open now. They are. Are they? It happens with credit cards. It happens with insurance. It happens with the goddamn computer TVs. I cannot talk to a motherfucking person on a 1-800 number because these computers don't recognize my voice. Well, goddamn, do I gotta give him a shampoo, Grandma? Huh? Do I gotta wash him? Uh, I don't know, Mike. Well, guess another question. You, you, you do not work at the Humane Society. You should not have to be answering this question. When I finally got their fucking number off the Google phone book, which I couldn't, and I got through, I got a computer again. You know, you, you don't play difficult with me, Grandma. I know you is smarter than a goddamn motherfucker that you dealing with. I'm your man, Grandma. 
Now, I cannot believe that this is over. I'm not going to talk about it no more. But you know what I'm saying. Look at Grandma. They got CBS on the, on the internet. You know my Paramount Plus television channel? Well, I also got an NBC. It's called Peacock. It's the same as CBS. Now, I logged into that motherfucker in the football season. I registered my account with the NBC TV channel on the internet. These motherfucking TVs, every phone, every computer does not remember my password. And guess what, Grandma? I'm a big time marijuana smoker. I sure don't remember my password. That's why I told you to write them all down. <laughs> I know, I know, but listen, it don't matter. These motherfucking high dollar electronics should know my password that I gave it. Why the fuck do I get signed out of my accounts? Grandma, Grandma, if I want to change my TVs from CBS to NBC, even if I had the passwords, it takes 10 minutes. Oh my God. It's been like this for months, Grandma. I don't know much about that, Mike, so I don't know what to tell you. So like, oh, shit, Grandma. All the cable, please. No! No, it ain't cable. It ain't fucking cable, Grandma. Oh, okay. It ain't cable, goddammit. Oh, Did you see that black light model I posted on your screen? There was a black light model going around the racetrack, Grandma. It wasn't no Uncle Andy who said Heil Hitler on that motherfucker. I posted it on your Facebook page, a black late model, and I said, Grandma, I like this car. And he didn't have numbers. It said H-E-I-L on his number date, man. That was a cool as hell car, man. I don't get my Grandma. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You motherfucking Germans, Grandma. They good people. I talked to them on the internet. They got a lot of art and culture that was lost. Yeah, well, I don't really care what they got lost. <laughs> oh, but why do you care about Hitler going to Argentina? Huh? Why do you care about the Nazis going to Argentina? Me and you used to conversate on the motherfucking Nazis all the time. Now you're going to tell me, Mike, I don't want to talk about your motherfucking Nazis. All right, Grandma, we won't talk about the Nazis. I don't mind talking about them. I just don't care. You know, I mean, the, the Hitler thing was interesting. You know, to find out what they were doing and what they were But we're talking about the race car, Grandma. The local race car that's a late model that didn't have a number was jet black and it said H E I L, Heil Hitler, man. Wow, that could have been for something else. It don't matter. It didn't say Hitler. It said H I E L or some shit right on the door. I said, damn, that's a jet black car with some cool rims. Now listen, Grandma, on the news today, they were talking this and that. We got a private manufacturer that's building supersonic jets. It's going to go from L.A. to New York. We're getting a motor built by the Concorde. We ain't going to fly across the ocean. We're going to make these supersonic jets fly from America to America so people can travel. Now listen to what I thought, Grandma. I said, motherfucker. Since my grandpa Harry, my grandpa Gordy, my fucking whole family could manufacture an automobile, they don't got to buy a Chevy or a Ford, they just go in their garage and make a car, but we can't drive that motherfucker on the road. But they gonna say, this private nigga could drive a plane, Grandma. You see the fucking hypocrisy? There's laws, there's laws that says Uncle Andy and Danny Foote could build a car with fenders, not a race car, a car to drive in the road, Grandma. Yeah, and you know what? And you know what? They wouldn't be allowed to drive it on the road because of the laws. But they're going to spread on the news this propaganda this morning. We're going to advance the future and everybody's going to build their airplane. Fucking lie, Grandma. Hang on just a second. I got to grab my glass of water. Hang on. All right.